Hello, 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 my wonderful and beautiful family. Good morning, good morning. Happy Sabbath day to you all. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I am so glad, okay, to be yet in the land of the living. That's what my mom used to say. I'm so glad. I'm grateful to God. Yes, starting off with the bang. God is so good. I, I got some rest, okay, because daddy made me rest, all right? God is so good. Listen, let's pray first. Father, we thank you and we praise you. We magnify you. We glorify you. Your most holy and righteous name. We give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor because it belongs to you and you alone. Daddy, we thank you for you. For without you, there is no us. We give you praise, glory, and honor. We thank you for peace and strength and restoration and provision and protection. Oh God, we thank you for joy. Oh God, we thank you, Father, for all of your many and bounty for blessings. We thank you that we can come boldly before the throne of grace. Father, I give you praise in Jesus name. Look down on my family, Father God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, that you would strengthen them. You know what they have need of my God, my Lord, and my savior. I'm asking for provision in whatever area that is needed in the name of Jesus. Now we already know I serve notice on the devil today in the mighty in matchless name of Jesus, I come against every spirit of witchcraft and voodoo and black magic, hexes, okay, love spells, manipulation, and the like. I cast it all. I send it back to the pits of hell, whence it came in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that no weapon that is formed against the God, the people of God, the ones that are true believers in Jesus Christ, okay, I bleed the blood of Jesus over this channel and every channel that represents Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Satan, we serve you notice. Get out in Jesus' name. Back to hell you go. In the name of Jesus, we come against the spirit of discord and those that are just looky-loos, that just want to sow disruption and discord in the body of Christ. I rebuke you and I bind you up and send you to hell in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you and I praise you. Come in and have your way in this word on this channel through your people that that I decrease and you increase in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. I pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Listen, y'all. I got some rest. I got some rest. Daddy made me. Okay. He wouldn't give me nothing. I was just getting bits and pieces, you know, but he was like rest. I slept in for two days in a row. Now I usually get up anywhere between four, um, 3 a.m. to 4.30 ish a.m. Okay. Usually before five all right. And uh, a lot of times at three something in the morning, but I slept in this morning. Now I understand that my sleeping ends is definitely past five o'clock. It's when day breaks. I got to see daylight two days in a row. I slept good, good. Okay. Uh, a lot of times I get up through the night and you know, anyways, at, with all that being said, I slept good. I needed that rest. God is a good God. God is a good God. And I struggle to rest. So um, all I've been doing for a couple of days, you know, I posted a little bit here and there, but father was like, no, uh, uh, this is what you will be talking about at some point, but we're not, we're not getting on right now to give a full word, but the Lord has released me today. I'm so glad to be here. Y'all I'm excited. Excuse me. I'm excited about it. Certain rooms are kind of stuffy for me, but anyways, God is so good. He has been downloading a lot to me. All right. A lot in the sense of, you know, a lot as bits and pieces. Now I'm in a new location. As you can see, I've been here already for a couple of days. Um, um, God is so good. So I've been just getting, uh, a little bit here and there, you know what I'm saying? But not the full because God's like, we, we can, we can chat a little bit, Tracy, but I'm not, you, I don't release you to get on here and, and, and share yet, yet. Okay. But Hey, today is the day. Amen. Amen. So I want to say this and get it out of the way. I'm not asking. I'm just saying, if you would like to sow, amen, into this ministry, the descript, I mean, the uh, information is always in the description. Okay. Now, listen, that's different from me having to come on here. Can you guys give me some? Okay. That's different. This is general. The other is like direct. I'm like, father, no, this is just a general sense. If God is feel, uh, leading you to sow into this word, amen, it's all in there. Amen. Amen. That's the difference. Okay. As you can see by the title, look, cause right now I'm like, 
what I got, endless provision, unlimited provision. We don't know where we are, but God was speaking a word. He was letting me know, I got you. Not only does he got me, he got you too. My shirt is amazing. I think it ties in with it. I had to go buy a couple of shirts. Daddy is good. He provided, but how befitting that my shirt says, Hakuna. Matata, Hakuda, Matata. It means no worries for the rest of your days. Hey, it's our problem free philosophy. Hakuna, Matata, Hakuna, Matata. Okay, I'm done. But, anyways, I'm like, I did not do it on purpose either. I promise you, I did not do it on purpose because I didn't know I was getting this word. I just needed a couple of shirts. I seen it. I'm like, oh, cute. You know? Okay, let's get into it, you guys. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. So, um, before I left the other place, who the enemy know he was trying to uh, beat me up, but hashtag number 17, how many know that we are victorious in Jesus Christ? Okay, we always win. Okay, sometimes it don't seem like you're like, I'm getting beat up, daddy, don't you see me? He's like, it's fixed. The fight is fixed. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, the fight is fixed. And so um, the Lord has been showing me the number 77 for a good week. Okay, or something like that. This was even before. And I'm like, okay, that's different. And then I'm looking and I'm looking. But we're talking about nonstop for about a week. And the number 777. And we're going to get into that at some point. Now, with the number 777, okay, triple sevens, I have to admit, usually when the Lord gives me that number, I got to fast. I'd be like, I'm running from the fast. But um, not this time, Okay. Not this time. This he, the Lord went somewhere else with the number 777. And this is why it's important to go and sit before the Lord. He's not going to always be saying the same thing through the same number. You know, you got to sit. God, what are you saying? Daddy, what are you saying to me through this number? And we're going to get into that um, as well, as well. And so um, you all know that I have been asking the Lord. I'm sure I've shared it many times. I have been asking the Lord. Um about my self-sufficiency, right? Like not having to come on here to ask directly. I, I mean, you can sow into it if God leads you to into this ministry. That's always a good thing. I sow into ministries. I sow into um, some of you all too. I love to give. I am a giver. And so, but when, when I'm talking about self-sufficiency, I'm, meaning I don't want to have to come on and ask, that is really hard for me. I know it may seem like a silly thing, you know, okay, everybody have their thing. Um, and so, um, and, and self-sufficiency is like me working on something to bring in income for myself. Of course, of course, all of it comes from God. You know, you guys know what I mean, right? And so, um, uh, God is so good. Now, listen, you guys have been so good to me. I'm so grateful. Y'all be having me cry every time I hear my phone ding. It brings me to tears. It doesn't matter how much. I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding because the fact that you thought about me, you know what I'm saying? And, and the Lord led you to sow whatever you could sow. I'm grateful. Oh my God. I cannot express. Okay. I cannot express. So I'm truly grateful because it's hard. Listen, I'm, I'm going to be honest. It's embarrassing. I was completely embarrassed coming on having to ask. I'm like, daddy, like, please. Uh, okay, don't don't make me. You said a cattle upon a thousand hill belong to you. I'm pleading my case. Okay, I'm pleading my case with the Lord. I'm like, you said, you know, uh, but at the end of the day, obedience is better than sacrifice. And regardless of what people say or even think, um, it's just, it's what it is. And this journey has definitely been humbling for me as well. It has, and I want to stay humble. So, you know, however God see fits to keep me humble, because I always pray against the spirit of pride. We, we can't have that. Amen. Amen. So God gave me this word over the course of a few days. Um, and he's it's been get, giving me confirmation left and right. Okay. Back to back to back to back. And, um, and then last night, the Lord led me to a video by a beautiful sister. I used to watch her often. Um, I want to say like a couple of years ago, you know what I'm saying? And then maybe a little bit last year, I'm not sure, but it has been a good while. It's been a good while since I've seen her videos and the Lord led me there last night. I'm like, look, it blessed my socks off. It was like putting the cherry on top of my Sunday. Okay. Because he was already giving me confirmations and this one just kind of sealed the deal. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure there's going to be many more. And so I've come to encourage us and to remind us that God is going to give us endless 
provision, okay? Endless provision. And I and um I was thinking about this, you know, I was thinking about what God was telling me, you know, about the endless provision. He's like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. We're going to get into the number 77 and 777 in just a bit. And so one of the scriptures that came to my mind uh, through Holy Spirit was 1 Kings 17 and 14. And I'm going to read the NLT. It says, for, for this is what the Lord, the God of Israel says, there will always be flour and olive oil in your containers until the time when the Lord sends rain and the crops grow again, right? Endless provision, continuous provision. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And so the number 77, I've been seeing this everywhere, you guys. Um, God has shown me this number in so many different ways and in so many different places. I have lost count. Okay, now because we're used to if you're traveling, you're gonna see license plates, you know, or billboards or on the side of vehicles. But when I tell you I have seen this number everywhere, I've seen it everywhere. Phone numbers, um, you name it, I've seen it. I'm I'm like, wow, okay, on my receipt, I'm like, okay. And you know, like if I have to take a little bit of money and put it over here and somehow it adds up and the indie may be 77 cents. Let me tell you, y'all get the point, okay? So the number 77, according to the Strong's Greek Concordance, it means without expense for which nothing has to be paid, okay? Like this bill or these bills is on God, period. He will provide, okay? God will take care of it. Your job, our job is to be obedient. I can, obedient. I cannot stress enough how important obedience is. It does not matter if it makes sense to you or not. It does not matter if you want to do the thing or not. It is about being obedient to what God is telling you to do in that moment. I'm telling you, it's important. You'll be like, this don't make sense. It don't matter. Just, just do it. Don't think about it too long because you'll talk yourself out of it. The enemy will definitely talk you out of it, okay? And so listen, so 1 Kings 17 and, and let me see. What did I read, you guys? Look at me all over the place. I just lost my, my place. Anyways, anyway, so um, again, you know, we went over what the number 77 means. God will provide. Okay, yeah, let's go over to 1 Kings 17 and 15. This is what it says. Um, she did as Elijah said, and she and Elijah and her family continued to eat for many days. This was about the obedience of this woman, right? You guys go read it because I'm just kind of bouncing around a little bit. I hope you're staying with me. Um, her containers did not run out of flour and oil because of her obedience to the man of God, okay, to God, and that's important. And so they ate, Elijah and, and this lady and, and her family, they ate, it said many days, right? Amen, amen. Let's go over real quick to end it. Second Kings chapter four, the prophet Elijah gave instructions, okay? Because we're talking about a little bit ob obedience, obedience. I can talk, I promise, Okay. Um, so in second Kings chapter four, the prophet Elijah gave instructions to a certain woman whose husband had died. Right. And remember, um, the husband in those days, he was the provider, like women didn't work. Okay. And so let's, let's read that real quick. You guys, let me, let me just get my phone. Um, second Kings chapter four verses one through three. And also, I know you guys have been saying it too. the number one, two, three. It has not gone anywhere. The number three, two, one. It has not gone anywhere. Um, we're going to get into the number four, 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 maybe on another video. God is saying some amazing things with that. But um, 2 Kings chapter four, verses one, two, and three. The wife of a man from the company of the prophets cried out to Elijah, your servant, my husband is dead. And you know that he revered the Lord, but now his creditor is coming to take my two sons as his slave. Elijah replied to the woman, how can I help you? Tell me, what do you have in your house? Your servant has nothing there at all, she said, except a small jar of olive oil. Elijah said, go around and ask all your neighbors for empty jars. Don't ask for just a few, okay? He's like, go out and borrow these jars. It was in the obedience of this woman, amen, that she received, right? You guys, I cannot stress enough how obedience is important. And I'm not going to just do that. But I will say this. Be obedient. It's important. 
It's important. Amen. 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 So listen, so even though I did not like, I do not like coming on here asking. I'm not asking right now, y'all. It's okay. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I'll admit, I felt so humiliated. I, I'm, I'm just being honest, okay? I felt humiliated. I, you know, I was crying. That's why I was crying. One of the reasons I was crying, okay? That wasn't it, okay? And it may seem silly to some of you guys. It was more to it than that, you guys. I was sitting in a parking lot. I had some snacks, thank you, Jesus, in my car, you know, some orange slices and some grapes, I think, and some water, thank you, Jesus, and the frozen bottle of water. Oh, and I had one boiled egg and because I'm thinking, because God has done it many times before. So I had the, the hard boiled egg, right? in there and I had the two frozen bottle of waters. You guys, I promise you, I never take it. You gotta follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. Now I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna take these two um, frozen bottle waters and I'm gonna make sure that my fruit stay cold and this egg so it'll be fresh, right? Because it was hot, it was warm, okay? It was warm and so, um, not really thinking that I was gonna have any waiting. You know, I really didn't. I'm like, usually when I pull up to the hotel, my phone starts dinging. God comes through like that. This time wasn't like that. And I was like, oh my Lord. I said, okay, Tracy, we're not going to be complaining. You're going to drive to a parking lot because this place I was, the parking was so different. So I couldn't actually park at the hotel. I went down what a few miles um, and I just parked and I said, I'm going to park at this place. The view was nice. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm in my car and I'm just waiting in there and I'm like, I didn't want to pay for parking. And at this place I had to pay for parking. It was just a little, okay. It was just a, um, a little bit, but I didn't want to spend any money because I'm trying to make sure that I'm going to, you know, do my part. Right. So anyways, I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay, Tracy, you're not going to complain. Thank you, father. You always come through going on and the enemy bombarded me. So you guys, I started to get tired. Time started ticking, ticking. It's definitely past my check-in time. Right. And, uh, and I'm like, Lord, I just didn't want to do this. I was, um, I was tired, you know, and anyways, it was just a lot going on. And so things were just compounded and I did. And so I had already asked twice. I had asked two days before. So I said, Lord, can I ask two days before that way? You know, I have what I need before I get there, not knowing it was going to be a test or whatever. And, um, anyways, I got some, I did. And I'm like, okay, that happened. I said, fine, I'll just you know, humble myself and I ask again on the day that I'm actually leaving out and I ask again, I'm like, okay, nothing's happening. Um, nothing's happening. And then I said, that's okay. I, I, my stuff was packed. I put everything in my car and I drive and I'm like, well, I can't park here. Like I said, I go and I sit. Anyways, you guys, by the time the third time came, I just did a post. I'm crying at this point because now time had already passed, right? I'm like, I don't want to be sitting here in the dark in my car. Time had already passed. And, um, and I just started crying. I said, fine, I got to send the, um, thing. The Lord's like, send, send, put it in the um, community. Ask again. I'm like, daddy, that's the third time. And I'm crying by this point, trying to type it in real quick. I says, as soon as I get it, I'm taking the, the, the community post down. I'm taking it down. I don't want anybody to see that. Anyways, you guys, that's just kind of how it went. Um, so your girl was just, you just go through it. But listen, family, I thank you guys for your heart to give to me as a woman and a prophet of God, right? And to be obedient to the Lord. I am eternally grateful. Okay, y'all came through for your girl, right? Of course it was God. Thank you, Jesus. But it was all God, I know. And to God be the glory. Amen. Listen, let's listen, listen, listen. Philippians 419, it says, and my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. We He's going to provide. He never said when. Okay. But some things are a test. But anyway, it's going. So God has an endless supply of provision, right? Um, I was tired. Yes. But God gave me the strength. And sitting in the parking lot, waiting on God to come through at this place where he told me to go, Holy Spirit stepped in. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay. And, and, and brought back to my remembrance all the time that daddy, that Abba father came through for me before. Not one time, not one time, not one time did he leave me without. Not all the time did it come through. Uh, for me the way that I wanted. We all know about that, right? Like this don't look nothing like I thought it was going to be, right? But that's okay. Um, 
it wasn't always what I wanted. No, no, no. But that's okay. But God was still faithful and he still came through. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Okay. Hakuna Matata. Oh, anyway. So I'm sorry. I just, I just, I just wanted to say that. I don't know. All right. So, um, again, I mentioned some videos that the Lord led me to. And in these videos, uh, from this beautiful lady in Christ, this beautiful sister in Christ. Her channel is called The New Edition, and her name is Thatho. Thatho. You guys, you know me. My names are not friends, sweetheart. I'm so sorry for butchering your name. It is T-H-A-T-O. Okay, please forgive me. I'm so sorry. I cannot say your name, but I can't say a lot of names, okay? So I, I apologize. Um, but this was like the last confirmation that the Lord gave me that kind of sealed the deal. It bought me so much peace and so much joy. It, it, it helped me to really latch on to the number 77, to what God was really saying. Like, I'm going to do, you're not going to have to worry about provision, Tracy. You're not. This message is not just for me. Otherwise, I wouldn't be on here sharing it. You guys receive this word. I, I need you to grab hold of this word and say, yes, Lord. Lord. Okay. Amen. I believe, I believe, I believe. All right. I will link these videos in the description. It's two of them. Okay. And so in these videos, she um, shared a dream where she was in this house in, in the house the Lord was um, giving to her, right? Her and her son and the walls she said was great. Now you guys forgive me if I miss it, please watch the videos. All right. And she said the walls were great, but it was like she could see inside the walls, right? God allowed her to see through them what was inside and inside these gray walls, right? Gray. We already know gray is usually like gloomy, whatever, um, was um, inside these walls were honeycombs, honeycombs dripping with honey. I just thought it was so beautiful. Listen. You go watch the videos, but listen to this. You may not be able to see how God is going to do it, right? Everything around you may be may seem gray or, or desolate even, but there's honey in the walls. That just will preach all by itself. There's honey in the walls. Shout out to my sister, uh, the new edition, because I don't want to mess your name up. God bless you, my sister. Thank you for being obedient and sharing this word. I wish I knew how to... Yeah, tag you. But anyways, listen, you guys go watch her video. Amen, amen. God is indeed a good, good father. Okay, he is a good God. I'm asking you guys to please watch these videos. Um, one was from like three years ago. Let me tell you something. When It doesn't matter how old the video is. I remember the Lord gave me one. It was six years ago. And the word was still from my situation. That's what God does. So down through the years, somewhere five, 10 years later, somebody's going to see a video of yours or of mine, right? And say, wow, what an on-time word, word, because that's the kind of God we serve, right? Amen, amen. And then the, the another video was either from yesterday or the day before, something like that. And so let's move on. So I mentioned the number 777, all right? Triple sevens. And that God usually shows me this number. Um, when he's letting me know you need to fast, praise the Lord. And in the Strong's Concordance, it means, um, it means, where is it? Tracy, come on. I want to read it exact. It means without food and fasting, right? Fasting. That's what it means in the Strong's Concordance. But this time God was showing me something different. Okay. Um, so God has been showing me this number often as well. Just like the number 77, he's also been showing me the number 777. Okay. The last place I seen this number was when I checked in that hotel where I was crying at. <laughs> I was crying before I got to it. And no, I did not have any chicken to eat. Um, was on July the 8th. And in the lobby of this um, hotel, they had some flyers on about three or four doors. I can't remember. And on the flyer was the number 777. And it mentioned something about a jackpot, right? I don't know. I said, when I come back down, I'm going to take a picture of it because I've been seeing that number, right? Unfortunately, I did not come back down that day. It was the next day and they were gone. I'm like, you should have just took a picture because I, but I didn't want people to think I was weird taking a picture of a door. You know, I, I didn't. I'm going to have to admit, I was thinking about what people would think. So, 
Um, anyways, anyways, and so it and it did say something about jackpot. I also been seeing a lot of you know this little slot machine, the emoji. It has a slot machine with like seven, seven, seven. The red. Okay, no, no, no. Now listen, listen. <laughs> God is not telling you to go to the casino. Okay, I don't think so. All right, this does not mean you can. Let me just put it like that. I'm going to say this. This does not mean you should go to the casino, okay? Just because I said the emojis. That's how I'm going to change it. I'm, I'm going to word it like that. So listen, this does not mean you should go to the casino. I want to be clear about that. That's, that's not what I'm telling you. All right? Amen and amen. So, however, when I looked up the word jackpot, one of the definitions just said a big prize. I said, yes, and thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. All right. And that was the definition that was highlighted because I've seen a lot. I'm like, God, where are we going with this? Big surprise. All right. That's what it says. So there's going to come a time in our life where the abundance is going to kick in, right? Where the overflow is going to kick in, where the more than enough is going to kick in, where you will be the lender and not the borrower. Okay. Where you will be above and not beneath, right? God is so, so good. He's so, so good. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. You'll be the head and not the tail. That's the one I was looking for. Okay. Amen. Your time is coming. So tell the enemy, shut up, devil, in the name of Jesus. Okay. It will happen for me. Say it now. It will happen for me in the name of Jesus. I do receive this word in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You will be a millionaire. Okay. Listen, not so you can floss. Wait, do we still say floss? It's like, that's probably old, huh? We be flossing, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. My slang is not up to date. All right. The, my daughter needs to update my slang handbook. So I know, but anyways, it's not for us to show off. Okay. Uh, millionaire status It's not for you to show off, but it is part of your reward and, and, and so that you, so that we can do kingdom work. Yes. It takes money for all those that don't believe it. I'm praying for you, and I'm sorry you think that. Amen. So remember, it should always point back to God, okay? It should always be about Jesus. Amen and amen. So in 1 Kings, okay, now let's get back to the jackpot, right? The 777 that the Lord is talking about, our overflow and abundance. 1 Kings chapter 10, 23 through 25, it says this. So King Solomon became richer and wiser. Listen, do we, do we not? You need wisdom to steward what God gives you well. Ask for it. In Hebrews, you, it, I believe it's Hebrews. It says you can ask where God gives, ask for wisdom, where God gives it liberally. Amen? Ask for it because you're going to need it. God is not giving you riches for you to squander and blow and just say, hey, look at me. No, it has purpose. All right? Amen. Let's start again. So King Solomon became richer and wiser than any other king on earth. People from every nation came to consult him and to hear the wisdom of that God had given him. Amen? to hear wisdom, the wisdom God had given. It says this, listen, listen, listen to number 25, 1 Kings 10 and 25. That's where we are. Year after year, hallelujah, everyone who visited him brought him gifts of silver and gold, clothing, weapons, spices, horses, and mules. Year after year, okay? 777, jackpot, the big prize, all right? That's coming too. God, I pray y'all getting this. I pray you're getting it. And no, it's not just about material or monetary things. Listen, I'm not even going to explain because if you have ears to hear, then you'll know. And I'm not going to um, try to, to justify again in regards to money. Okay. Last but not least. So I'm in room. The room I'm in right now is the room number 126. And part of the the um, Wi-Fi password is one, two, three, right? And um, and so the Lord led me over to... Now, listen, I didn't really pay um, much attention to it when I got in this room. Uh, where are we at now? A couple of days ago. But last night, right? Last night, the Lord highlighted to me. His timing is so perfect because he didn't need me to see it before then, right? Last night, which was the 12th, okay? July 12th. Um, he led me over to first, I mean, first, he led me over to Psalm 126 verses one, two, and three. Room 126, part of the Wi-Fi password is one, two, three. Look, God does what he wants. He's strategic. All right. Amen. I love him so much. Let's read it. Pick up your phone, Tracy. 
Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. God is such a good God. All right, let's go to Psalm 126, verses 1, 2, and 3. When the Lord brought back his exiles, to, um, I'm sorry, let's start again. When the Lord brought back his exiles to Jerusalem, it was like a dream. We were filled with laughter and sang for joy. And the other nations said, what amazing things the Lord has done for them. Yes, the Lord has done amazing things for us. What joy. That's one translation. What translation is this? NLT. Okay, NLT. I'm going to read the King James Version for us um, real quick. It says this. Thank you, Jesus. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dreamed. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, the Lord had done great things for them. Verse three, the Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Amen. That part gets me every time. We were like them that dream. It's going to feel like that. It's going to feel like a dream. All right. God is so good. God is so good. Listen, endless provision and a big prize. Okay. You get rewarded. It's all on God. It's all on God. That's what the Lord was letting me know. Tracy, all expenses paid by me because I keep trying to get a job. You guys, God says, stop. I work for him. I'm employed by God. Amen. And so are many of you. All right. So don't worry about what people say. They're going to call you lazy. They're going to say all kind of ugly and hurtful things and mean things. That's okay. La, la, la. That's how we used to block people out when I was a kid, right? And they talking and saying stuff you don't want to hear. We'd just be like, la, 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 la. I used to do it all often, and we used to say some other crazy stuff. But anyways, just block them out. The blood of Jesus. Shut up, devil. Well, we're not calling them the devil, but we are speaking to the devil, right? The enemy. And so be encouraged. God's got you. Even if the walls look gray. You guys got to hear it. I was so blessed. So I'm just going to hold on to my word. I want you to hold on to the word of God. And I want you to be encouraged. Listen, he got you. He got us. He got us. I have some more things. The Lord has given me a lot of nuggets. All right. And at some point he's going to bring it together for me. And I'm going to get on here and share. It's just going to be like the building blocks. And we're going to make this message come together. The Lord is going to allow it. That's what he was telling me. Building blocks. I'm like, Lord, where does this go? What is this? He's like, we just got some building blocks. We're going to, we're going to build this, this thing, Tracy together, partner with God. Amen. Partner with God. So listen, endless provision. And of course, Hey, the jackpot. All right. God wants to do it. He wants to. He wants to. He loves us, okay? It's all on him. Be encouraged, my family. Again, I love you guys so much. Um, let's try not to worry, all right? I'm sitting on the floor. On the floor, I got a couple of pillows I'm sitting on. I just wanted to sit somewhere different. Amen. God is so good. I did not have to ask for this room to be paid for. God did that. I did not have to ask for um, you all for anything to eat this time around. God, God did it. I have gas in my car, and if I want to, I can go get it washed, okay? I bought me a couple of shirts because I'm like, I didn't know I was going to be gone longer. Longer. I didn't know this time, you know? I don't always know. It's just when God says, sometime I have um, been in one place, and I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to be there, and I have moved four or five different places in the span of whatever God says, you know? Sometimes I know to pack a big suitcase and sometimes I don't know to pack a big suitcase and we got to go buy a couple of t-shirts, all right? I am that chick. I do know how to wash things out on my hand and hang them up. I will do that, okay, if it calls for it. But if the Lord allows me to go pick me up a little something, it's okay. I do that. You guys can too. Listen, I'm going to get off of here. Hey, I'm going to get off of here. Um, I just, I love encouraging you guys. Listen, thank you so much. I love you. I love you. I love you. I promise you. Let me tell you something. I love the body of Christ. I can't wait till we really all come together in unity as one body, as God intended. All right. Not, not putting down our brothers and sisters, but holding us each other up in prayer. Right. Amen. Amen. Let's not tear each other down. Let's pray for each other. Everybody's struggling somewhere. I know nobody's perfect. Right. Amen. We all have work to do and we will continue to work on ourselves until God, till Jesus comes back. All right. To get us. Amen. Amen. So let's pray. All right. Let's pray for the body of Christ. I love, love, love the body of Christ. I love my 
my family in Christ. I love y'all so much. I love my family that the the Lord gave me, my natural family. I ain't got many of them left to talk to, but the ones that I can, I'm grateful. Amen. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Listen, I'm going to get off of here because I can keep talking to y'all. Believe it or not, this introvert, I come a long way. You come a long way, baby. Amen. Amen. But God is so good. I love him. I thank him for my youthfulness. Yes, I am 55 and I'm loving it. 55 and alive. Okay. Um, and I thank God for my youthful spirit. I want to stay youthful. I ain't trying to act childish. There's a difference, all right? I'm not being childish. I'm being youthful. And I want to continue to do that. Like, I can almost, no, okay. That'd be great if I could still do a back bend. But hey, I can bend back far enough, okay? I'll be trying to make sure I'm moving. Let, let me just stop talking. Listen, if you're new in Christ, <laughs> enjoy your new life with him. Sweetheart, it is the best decision that you could ever make. All heaven is rejoicing with you. If by chance you have fallen away and you're just now coming back, check it out. The most important thing is that you're back now, all right? Enjoy your renewed life with Christ. It is the best decision that you could ever make. And yes, all heaven is rejoicing with you too. May the spirit of the living God rest upon you and your family. Remember that is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right? Rest upon you and your family. You all be blessed. I love you so much. And Jesus, he loves you so much more. Until next time, be encouraged. All right, God has got the bill. Bye-bye.